another kind of edge deployment that we quickly want to talk about. And I was um, visiting um, a, a company um, called, called Rimas um, in Croatia. They're making hypercars. Um, unfortunately, a bit out of budget for me, but this is like extremely, extremely amazing hypercars, electric hypercars. These, these guys are really changing what an electric supercar is these days. And, um, and what you can achieve with proper technologies on the edge, because if you think about it, a car is also edge. Um, they have thousands of sensors. They collect every second multiple times the data, and then they bring it to an application where you can have proper troubleshooting, find, find efficiencies, inefficiencies, and so on. And, and you can even go so far that the car is able to drive better then uh, and give coaching recommendations to people driving the car because of all of the data. Unlocking the rich data streams in physical devices, be it in factories or in cars, is just amazing what you can do, do today. And um, and I and on, honestly, when I look at what some of our customers are, are doing here by unlocking all of this richness of data to their applications and to their business, this is uh, this is really a. Uh, Honestly, a glimpse into the future, and I'm I'm completely blown away what what some of these companies are doing. One of them is also Remus. We also have a case study with them. So, who is interested in that? Um, this can also be found on our web page. So, some of the things um, also very having you also can help you when it comes to observability. It's of course the observability on the device is the one thing. But also observability means you should have a clear understanding of, of what's happening with all of your um, devices on the one side, but also with your backend infrastructure, all your services and so on. And if you think about it, there are usually thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of devices being connected in many mature IoT use cases. And if you have 100 devices and 1% of your customers are having an issue, you have one customer having an issue. This, the dynamics change completely if you have 1 million or 10 million, or uh, one of our customers has more than 100 million devices in a single uh, installation. Um, if 1% of your customers is having an issue because of connectivity, of latencies, because the application backend is not responding in time, there's a database issue somewhere, um, then you have a real user experience problem. And um, depending on the kind of business, there might be an issue that escalating to call centers and, and then to, to management. And we have seen this multiple, multiple times because scale is hard. And this is what, what we are also focusing on. It's not only moving the data, but finding the needle in the haystack, giving the tools to our customers to understand when something goes wrong, understanding what's going wrong and how to fix it. And what we believe in, it's not, not waiting for something to, to basically um, go wrong, but having the kind of indication beforehand. Because if you see like backend services are slowly increasing the latencies, but still the customer experience is good, um, you can still react. And reacting, from my perspective at least, is always better when there's not a pressing issue at hand and you, are still, you can still act and not only react. And this is why we're also focusing on that. Um, and the ones, of course, I mean, how having to make money basically it's reliability and it's also the, the flexibility and also the scale of the kind of use cases we have. 